evening folks, Miami Beach audits here. Well, today Channel 10 published this article about how the school board revealed details of information that had been published by hackers who stole it from their records. Now if this isn't a psyop in order to try and get the school board to give uh, IT security more money, I don't know what is, because their security seems pretty good to me. Everything that the hackers published, and by the way, they tried to get ransom out of the school board for this, is FOIA-able. You could go down to various offices at the school board and request every one of these records. It said no personal information was compromised, no social security numbers were published or lost to the hackers. Okay, now here's a headline. Hackers post files after Barrow District refuses to pay ransom. They apparently asked for 40 million. Sun Sentinel reported that many of the files contain accounting and financial records, invoices, purchase orders, travel and reimbursement forms, all of which are FOIA-able. Okay, so it says unauthorized activity on their computer network, but they said that their core functions weren't impacted. It says we have no information that any individual's personal information has been accessed or removed from our network or compromised in any way. So it looks like their security is pretty good at preventing this stuff. Okay, now it says they'll make all the necessary notifications based on analysis of the data. But they shouldn't have to notify anybody because they're maintaining that no critical information was compromised. So now they've placed a frequently asked questions section on the home page of their website to explain in layman's terms that these hackers didn't get any information that wasn't FOIAable. And that once they published it, it's no longer being held for ransom because anybody else can grab it off the web and they can recover their records off the internet from what's been published if they've been locked out by the ransomware. So now they're using an attack where the hackers didn't get anything critical in order to try and plead for more funding. They say they get attacked several thousands of times a year and yet IT funding has dropped by 20%. So you take even more money out of the underfunded classrooms and give it to the high paid IT staffers. He wants to hire six additional ones. They could get at least 10 more teachers for the money they're paying the six IT staffers. So thank you Channel 10 for spinning this in such a way as to make the average person believe that they actually were hacked or that they actually gave up some information in a ploy to get more funding away from the classrooms to a department that really doesn't need it because they're doing a very good job with what they have. And they haven't been hacked. This is Miami Beach Audits. I'm out. I'll see you on the next one. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification.